let's now dive into virtual assistants. Ano ba tong virtual assistants na to? How does this work? How do you earn from this? And yes, all of the topics na nandito sa lesson na to will have an in-depth um, lessons later on. But this is just to give you ano yung VA, ano yung virtual assistants in a nutshell. So alam mo kung paano to gumagana para meron kang clear idea on paano mo to ginagawa. So, um, this is go this course and this video is all about what you need to know about virtual assistants. So we'll tell you what you need to have in order to be a successful virtual assistant and have a profitable career as a VA. Okay. Again, you can start. Anyone can start. You can start anytime. Anyone can be a VA. But profitability is hindi yan hindi yan pare-parehas. Okay, ito, ito, para to sa, para to sa'yo, and itong ginagawa ng course na to. So, what is a virtual assistant? A virtual assistant is a self-employed administrative or personal assistant who works remotely, usually at home, for var various clients. Medyo vague yan, pero ang term, ang pinaka-importante dito malaman mo is when we say self-employed, sabihin, uh, ikaw yung sarili mong boss. Wala kang boss. Yung mga clients that you work with, magpapasweldo sa'yo, uh, parang exchange yan. Exchange ng services mo, ng oras mo, ng ginagawa mo for them, they pay you for that. So, they are not your employers. We are not employees anymore. We are employed by ourselves. Okay? So, self-employed. Very important na ma ngayon pa lang, alam mo kung ano ka as a VA at tandaan mo na self-employed ka because this is very important. Later on, lalo na kapag uh, nag-negotiate ka sa client, minsan kasi parang nag-negotiate tayo or nag-work tayo sa, uh, or naghahanap tayo ng work, ang dating eh, yung client na lang masusunod. Sa corporate, sa offices, nangyayari yun. Sasabihin nila sa'yo, ito yung offer, take it or leave it. Diba? Pero dito hindi. You can negotiate with them because you're also a client. You are a client of yourself. Okay? So, you are your own boss. So, you're a self-employed individual and you work remotely. Uh, yung mga office work na yan, usually, it's the same as working sa corporate. Kung ano man yung ginagawa sa office, kung ano man yung ginagawa sa business nila, it's the same work that you do sa bahay. It's work. Okay, wala siyang parang magic na piniklik mo lang. Hindi yun yun. Diba? Hindi yun captcha. Hindi yun ganun. Hindi yun makisend ka ng link, mag invite ka ng people. That's not it. It's real work. You just do it somewhere else. You don't have to be in the same area, in the same country as the client uh, to do that. Kaya tawag natin doon remote work or online work. So usually at home natin ginagawa itong remote work na ito kasi masasaya magstay sa bahay, masyadong matraffic, di ba? So as long as may computer ka, may internet ka, you can work anywhere. Okay, so... When we say various clients, yes, sometimes you get more than one client. Actually, most free freelancers and virtual assistants, we have more than two clients. Because you'll never know if a client um, natapos na yung project sa kanya o si maghanap kaya naman. So para wala kang space or break in between clients, maganda, uh, meron kang iba-ibang clients. Okay, hangat kaya mo, hangat alam mo sure ka na magagawa mo yung trabaho. Okay? So, you can take on as much clients as you want, as much clients as you can. Okay? So, virtual assistants, as VAs, I'm a VA and another VA, iba-ibang VA sa mundo, we have different functions. Mahirap po kasing uh, i-describe uh, ang virtual assistant sa ito lang ang ginagawa ng VA kasi iba-iba uh, ang ginagawa ng VA. Uh, kasi iba-iba tayong tao at iba-iba yung mga business na 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 sinuservisan ng mga VA na to iba-iba yung mga niche iba-iba yung mga mga clients okay so medyo sa una mga nakakadito siya but that is actually the beauty of virtual assistants you can be anyone that you want to be so i'll give you an example here this is Dan and Paul they these are not their real names uh, we just got this image from the internet. So, uh, example lang to. So, they started their own restaurant in Brooklyn, New York, and they want to have a website. Uh, lumalaki na yung restaurant nila, marami na umu-order, kumakain, and maliit lang yung space nila. They uh, they don't think na maganda na kumuha muna sila ng malaking space na sa na, na restaurant. Doon muna sila sa small resto na yun. Pero they see na okay pala magkaroon ng sariling website where people can order online and have it delivered. So, meron silang ganun. 
um, obviously, ito silang dalawa, more on business aspect sila, more on um, cooking, or let's say chef sila, or managing the restaurant. And they're not really that techy, especially gagawa ka ng website where people can order. So, kailangan mo talaga ng web developer. There's also, pag may umorder, sino magpa-process ng order. So, they need someone to do that kasi hands-on na sila dun sa pinaka-restaurant, di ba? So, they need a virtual assistant to do these things for them. So, pwede isang virtual assistant to do everything. Pwede ding is, uh, madami. So, depende sa style nila, depende sa strategy nila, depende sa kailangan nila, depende sa budget nila. Okay? So, may virtual assistant, for example, that will only process orders. Meron namang virtual assistant na tutulong doon sa website, doon sa developer. Okay? So, merong virtual assistant that acts like the web developer. Yeah? So, just to give you an idea, this is just example lang to. Hindi to lahat ng clients can to. Another example is this. She is Elizabeth and she started her own online store where she sells knitted items. So, nag gaganchilyo siya. Tapos, magaling siya maganchilyo. Yung una hobby lang niya yung spinopost niya. Tapos, maraming may mga nagsasabi, pabili naman ako niyan. And she realized, um, dahil meron siyang two kids sa bahay lang siya, she realized pwede siyang maging uh, magandang sideline or magandang side business para kahit nasa bahay siya, she can earn from home. So, she started her own um, online store and noong una, okay lang. May umu-order, siniship niya, tapos na. Pero tumadami na yung umu-order. Mas marami lang natanong. And, you know, if you guys have seen yung mga online stores, ang daming, hey, kano po, hey, magkano po to? Kahit ando na yung, ano, ando na yung presyo sa picture or nakalagay doon sa caption, nagtatanong pa din, yung mga ganyan. So, um, nauubos ngayon yung oras na kakasagot sa mga tanong or shipping shipping inquiries or meron mga ibang kulay na to or umorder ako kahapon, but wala pa, ganyan-ganyan. So, since ang ginagawa is, ginagawa niya is very, very literally hands-on na, na nag-dinit siya, nag-gagansil siya, it's either nagsasagot siya ng mga tanong sa online shop niya or nag-dinit siya para gawa ng items. Diba? So, she might need someone to um, handle yung mga queries, yung mga shipping questions, yung mga question doon sa social media, sa email, she might need a VA for that. Okay? Kasi she's getting more and more customers. And syempre, as a business, mas gusto niya na nakafocus lang siya sa paggawa ng mga knitted na mga 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 items. Mas marami siyang oras sa gumawa ng mga items. Mas marami siyang oras sa maghanap ng, uh, let's say, uh, supplier ng, ng mga ng mga ginagamit niya to, to knit para mas konti yung yung kailangan niyang ilabas sa pera, mas malaking babalik sa kanya na pera in terms of yung net profit. Yan. So, um, she needs a virtual assistant for that. Okay? So, a virtual assistant can do different things. Pero, tulad ng dalawa kong example, they act as a support for the business. Sometimes, hindi lang isang ginagawa lang, and that is the essence of a VA. Iba-iba yung ginagawa mo per client, per business, per project. Okay? So, um, you can, sabi ko nga, you can be anyone that you want to be, but at the end of the day, an effective virtual assistant, you act as a, as a support for the business. And I want you to use this, I want to use, to use this on your applications. When you talk to your clients, sa cover letter mo, always saying na I'm a virtual assistant, or even if you don't want to use the term virtual assistant, or uh, I'm an online worker, I'm a freelancer, and I want to act as a support for your business. Okay? The reason why this is here sa course to is not just to tell you what it's about para ipaliwana, but also to use this para makatulong sa'yo because when you say this to your clients, um, mas nakukuha mo yung attention nila. They're not just, ah, oh, ito yung work, kayo ko to. Okay? Kasi you have this confidence and you know what you do. I act as a support for your business and whatever that may be, the client will listen to you. Okay? So that's, that's tip right here. Now, so, Again, why do entrepreneurs, business owners, CEOs um, hire virtual assistants? Um, actually, ito, ito lang siya. Ito yung parang pinaka, in a nutshell. So, they can focus on running their business and not get caught up sa mga processes that takes too much of their time. So, may mga iba-ibang work dyan. May data entry, may web research, may social media posting. Uh, lahat yun, hindi nila pwedeng hindi gawin. It's just that, as a business owner, you have to maximize your time. Kasi pag ang, ang, ang pag-manage mo lang ng business, sobra-sobra na para sa isang tao. 
Okay, so para uh, para they can focus on bigger decisions or doing things na would actively bring in money. They need someone else to do the little things and that's where virtual assistants come in. Okay, dun tayo pasok na, na para sila, uh, kausap nila is partners or investors para free sila to do that. They have that time to do that. We'll do the smaller things for them. Okay, that's the reason why I always uh, focus on, ah, we do, we do it to support them. Kasi sinusupport na nila, natin sila, and then in turn, mas naaangat yung business. Okay, so this is also something that you can tell your client, you know, uh, you can hire me so you can focus on running your business and uh, you don't have to get caught up with the processes that takes too much of your time. Okay, I can do that for you. I can act as a support for your business. Yeah, that's actually something that I use on my cover letters. Okay, so again, anyone can be a VA. Not everyone is successful. And I'll give you a cheat right here. I'll give you the qualities that a successful VA possess. Now, uh, this is not to say na kung wala ka nito, hindi ka maging successful. I'm just saying, these are things na uh, pag alam mo meron ka nito, okay yon. Pag medyo malabo ka sa isa sa mga to, then you can work on that. And again, these are things that you can use on your applications. You can say these things na ah, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that, yung mga ganon. Okay? Uh, so number one, resourceful. Resourceful means na uh, hindi lang kung ano yung binigay sa'yo, aasa ka doon. Pag may gusto kang malaman, uh, you go out and uh, figure it out on your own, research on your own, learn on your own. Okay? So resourceful ka. Kung ano man yung meron dyan at your disposal, gagamitin mo yon. Okay? Number two, reliable. Very important to sa mga clients. Um, they need someone na they can rely on in terms of uh, hindi kayo nawawala, hindi kayo yung nililake, yung tipong hinahanap ka nila, hindi ka nagpaparamdam. If ever man na hindi ka makaka, uh, makaka show up sa work, okay lang yon. You can always tell them, hey, I have an emergency. Pero, hindi palagi. Okay? Kasi, uh, they're running a business and kung wala ka doon and you know that you're there to support the business, how can you support the business if you're not there? Right? So, you have to be reliable. Yung mga nangyayari sa buhay natin, we can't help that but as much as possible, be there. Reliability, number one uh, thing that you can do to show that you are reliable is being there. Okay? So, great communicator. Now, some people think na great communication means na constant. Okay, and the thing is, I don't use constant communication here. I uh, I use great communication. I, and what I meant by great communication is that you're clear sa sinasabi mo. Clear kayo sa isa't isa. Uh, when you say na great communicator ka, uh, you communicate regularly. Okay? Hindi palagi. Kasi may mga virtual assistants na tanong ng tanong. Nagko-communicate niya, pero tanong naman siya ng tanong, di ba? And again, you have to be resourceful, di ba? So, um, it doesn't mean na hindi ka pwedeng magtanong, pero as much as possible, kung kaya mong hanapin on your own, hanapin mo muna, and last resort mo yun na magtanong sa client, okay? You don't let your clients do the work for you, okay? So, great communicator, clear ka sa sinasabi mo sa client. Hindi yung paligoy-ligoy. Uh, most Tayong mga Pilipino, napansin ko, mostly sa mga VA, masyadong maraming paligoy-ligoy. Hi! Uh, good morning. I checked the, but this is keme, keme, keme. Ang dami po sinabi. Pero, pwede naman palang paikliin sa one to two sentences yung gusto niya itunong. Na tipong, uh, yun, uh, I've already done this and blah, 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 blah. Yun lang. Okay? So, concise and clear communication and regular communication. That's what I am talking about when I say great communicator. Okay, so if you need help with this, always ask me. Okay, if you should be on the group, uh, kung meron kayong gustong itanong kasi medyo hindi ka sure kung pwede mo siya itanong sa client, then post it dun sa group. Let me know. Uh, number four, professional. You know, a lot of people, napansin ko, uh, especially newbies, mga VA, is that dahil nag-work sa bahay, parang okay na lang na mag, ano, Okay, kasi nag-work naman ako sa bahay, tanggap na ng client yan. Tanggap nila that you work anywhere. Tanggap nila na you can work from home, but it does not mean that you should not be professional. Okay, be professional in your communication with them. Yung iba ang hili mag-text speak or ano. Unless yung you're already on the uh, on a level na comfortable na kayo, pwede na siguro yun. Pero uh, at the very least, sa umpisa, application, very professional ka. 
okay? Um, yung mga jokes, minsan, you can, you can, you can joke to your client, pero yung parang just to lighten the situation, okay? Don't use yung mga, yung mga medyo tagilid the joke or yung mga tabu na sinasabi natin. Okay, don't talk about religion, politics, yung mga ganyan. Okay, so that's part of professionalism. So if you are thinking, paano mo manaman kung professional o hindi, then think of this. Think of if you are in an office, nasa office ka pa rin, would you want to do something that you're thinking of doing? Yun lang yun. Okay? So number five, another thing that a successful VA possess is that they work well under pressure. Okay? When you're working with um, businesses, online usually 80 to 90 percent of the businesses na nasa na nasa internet and are looking for virtual assistance are actually small to medium-sized businesses or basically startups sila and startups um, hindi sila katulad ng mga laking kumpanya na uh, process oriented na oh ito gagawin mo ito ganyan na paulit-ulit lang ang gagawin mo ang startups medyo uh, medyo magulo sila kasi one thing will one thing leads to another merong mag-aaray sa problema kailangan dun muna yung attention nila kail, tas meron naman ditong isa pang ganyang eksena ganun yun ang buhay ng startup yun ang buhay ng small to medium sized businesses okay and that's the reason why they hire VAs is because um, gusto nila na uh, makatipid ng konti that's why they hire someone else this is where they hire overseas kasi uh, okay lang sa atin tumanggap ng medyo mas mababa kaysa sa mga standard na professionals in their own area kasi mas maano yung uh, cost of living. So, um, yung mga businesses nila, rocky. Medyo shaky yan. So, one day, one day ganito nangyayari, next day ganito nangyayari. Okay? So, minsan nagiging nagiging under pressure yung, yung business owner. So, you should always be uh, sensitive na parang wait lang, ito na yung situation, mag ako masyadong makulit, mga ganyan. Or, if may matutulong ka, gawin mo na. And, if medyo pressure yung 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 sitwasyon, wag kang masyadong madamdamin. Okay? When I say sensitive sa client, maging, malam, uh, try mong isipan kung ano nang isip niya, nalaramdaman niya, but it does not mean na maging sensitive ka sa emotions mo. Okay? Because it's, always under pressure. So, kung ikaw yung tipong masabihan ka lang ng client mo na, ah, this is, ano, malito, ganyan-ganyan, tapos -ganyan. iiyak ka na, ayaw mo na, sasabihin mo, unprofessional yung client, medyo hindi yun okay kasi uh, mostly yung mga startups na clients na kausap natin, pa iba iba sila ng gusto, may mga ganyan. So, kailangan marunong kang makibagay. And that's number six. You have to be flexible. Number seven naman is quick learner. Sometimes, wala na silang ibibigay sa yung bibigay sa yung um, instruction minsan na lang hi um Althea, i need you to do this for me and sometimes they'll give it to you because they don't know how to do it okay so ikaw na lang yung para okay maghanap ako ng tutorial i have to, i have to learn this uh, while uh, while i do this okay? learn on the job ang ginagawa mo okay so another thing is uh, number 8 can hit the ground running Kaka ang kaibahan naman ng quick learners that can hit the ground running is minsan kahit yung po natututunan, gawin mo na lang. May ganun. So, ganun ang term ng can hit the ground running. Another na, another thing is you're interested in self-development. Um, ikaw mismo, sarili mo, passionate ka about learning more things. And if may nakita ka na task dun sa client, sa business ng client na tingin mo pwede mong aralin, gusto nila yung mga ganun, yung nagiging proactive ka na, hey, um, nakita ko that you need help with this. Um, I take an, I, I, I will take an online ano, training to learn this para gawin ko to para sa'yo. Gusto nila yung mga ganun kasi minsan hindi nila napapansin yan. So kung ikaw mismo proactive ka, okay yan sa kanila. And number 10, you have to be accurate. Um, when I say accurate, I'm not talking about per, uh, perfection. Okay? Okay lang magamit as long as uh, mababago mo siya, as long as you take ownership. And um, clients, they don't hire they don't hire yung mga, yung mga alam nila 100% because even them, they know that they make mistakes. Okay? When I talk about accuracy, is when you do something, you know that you know that it's for something else. Okay? Um, for example, uh, you want to create a report. 
And itong report na to will show the client kung ano yung nangyayari sa kanyang social media, kung ano, ilan na ba yung likes niya, ano ba yung engagement, ano ba yung mga images na uh, would bring more results, ano ba yung mga relevant na mga information. So, you'll create that report. So, accuracy means na tatamaan mo yung dapat na uh, ipapakita ng report. Okay? Na ito yung information na kailangan ng client. Hindi, perfection naman is it will take so much time. Okay? So, accuracy just means na konting uh, focus lang, isipin mo lang kung observe ka lang kung ano yung kailangan. Okay? So, sometimes before you do something, think about it first. Okay? Para malesen yung pagkakamali. And that is what accuracy is for us virtual assistants. Okay? So, when you're working as a virtual assistant, how do you find success? Because I always talk about success dito sa VA course ato. How do you really find success? Is it uh, better rates, double digits na hourly rate, $10, $15 per hour, or no more hourly rate? Ganyan. To us, uh, and even for my agency, for us, ang success as a VA is actually the success of your client. Because when you are when you're part of a success ng, ng business ng client, unang-una, ang sarap sa pakiramdam nun. Okay? Ang sarap ng trabaho, hindi nakakatamad, na-appreciate mo yung sinisweldo mo. Yun ang uh, number one, yung bang feeling. Kasi feeling mo ikaw din successful ka na. And another thing is that when you are integral to the success of a client, yung talagang alam nila nakatulong sa success, number one, they can give you uh, a, a raise sa rate mo or when you ask for a raise, mas magiging perceptive sila, mas magiging, mas mataas yung, yung, um, yung possibility that they will say yes because they can see na yung effort mo led to their success. Some clients, no, and this is not for everyone, but some clients that I know of will give their VAs bonuses. Okay, so nakatulong yung, yung, yung VA for this, they will give them a bonus. Some VAs or freelancers that I know of, doon nakikita namin sa mga groups is may mga client na binibigyan sila ng computer, Mac, mga ganyan. Meron pang ibang client na um, dinilibre yung travel nila. Ganon. So, uh, for me, yun yun. Yun yung success. Okay, so number one, is that good feeling na part ka ng success. And it's also something that you can take pride on, na parang may pride ka as a virtual assistant. And it's something na ano, na minsan wala when you're working sa office, and ganun din ako before na, wala ka masyadong part, ah okay, call center ako, and and, and that's fine. Pero, uh, you can't really say na part ka ng success ng company, kasi parang the company just wants you to do the work for them. Tapos yun na yun, diba? But sa mga ganito na, na mga startups, most specially, is konting, konting pag-angat lang nila, ng level ng, ng, ng business nila. Sobrang tuwan-tuwan na sila. And may kita mo yon So, you can actually take pride dun sa ginagawa mo. Hindi lang siya a means for you to earn money. It's actually a means for you to have that professional ano uh, pride sa ginagawa mo. So, what does a VA do? Medyo, medyo, kung hindi ba clear sa'yo, there are different types and functions ng virtual assistants. Again, iba-iba tayong tao, iba-iba yung skill natin, iba-iba yung pinanggalingin natin, iba-iba experience natin. So, depende sa mga clients din kung ano yung mga kailangan nila, minsan inag-iiba yung mga function natin. So, virtual assistants itself is a very broad field. Um, a VA uh, virtual assistant have a varying function per situation, per project, per client. And that's that's the truth. Okay? And sometimes when you start out as a VA na ito yung skill mo, mapapansin mo na after three, six months, iba na yung ginagawa mo. Okay? Kasi nagbabago ka, napapansin mo saan ka mas magaling, napapansin mo kung saan ka, uh, saan ka mas effective, napapansin mo kung saan, um, mostly yung iba kung saan nila mas nakukuha yung mas malaking, mas malaking rate. Yun, minsan lumilipat-lipat kay. Okay. So, I'll give you an example. Ito yung pinaka-basic na VA. Admi administrative or admin VA or general VA. So, more on secretarial work. So, sometimes they're called personal assistants. And actually, doon nag-start ang virtual assistants. Na, na, doon talaga nag-start ang virtual assistants. But it has evolved. Okay. So, hindi nilang ito yon. But I just want you to know na minsan, pag nag-hire mga client, minsan tawag nila PA. Okay. So, most tipos lang yung general admin, that's email, management, calendar management, phone support, you answer 
uh, calls for them, a little data entry, gumagawa ka ng report, nag web research ka, nilagay mo siya sheet or document, and other ad hoc tasks. Yung mga kailangan sa business na uutusan ka ni client. Hey, can you do this for me? Can you um, book, a, book a flight schedule? Buy this on Amazon? Mga ganun, create a report about this? Mga ganyan. Call ganto, call ganto. So, yun yung minsan ginagawa ng mga administrative uh, or, or general VAs. Okay. So, uh, another type naman ng VA na malas nung makapansin is social media VA. So, from general VA, yung mga task na yon plus these. Now, hindi yun exacto na lahat palaging may ganun sa general VA. Minsan, one or two. Minsan, email management lang, vendor management lang, plus these. Okay? And hindi lang ito yung ginagawa ng social media VA. So, um, pero usually ginagawa la is number one, um, social media posting and scheduling. So, yung mga yung mga images na pinopost sa kanilang Facebook account, Instagram account. Sometimes you use a tool para isang postan lang sa iba-ibang platform. Uh, we'll show you that siguro later. And then, reply to messages sa mga website nila, sa mga social media handles nila, sa mga comments, and curate content. When we say curate, is you don't really create the content from scratch. You just look for other content. For example, mga blog posts, and then you, sh you share or post that doon sa social media. Um, handle nila. So, this is another ano, example. Um, writer, virtual assistant. So, from some from general VA plus the following. Um, since when we talk about writers, it's also uh, in itself a very broad term. So, may iba-iba din klaseng writer. So, depende sa pagiging writer mo to. So, if you are a writer before and you want to work as a VA, this is another thing that you can call yourself. Like, uh, you can be uh, a, write, uh, a VA writer na doon ka talaga gumagawa ka ng content, you create uh, written content and you post it, you sometimes manage. So, sometimes, pag sinabi natin writer VA, ito yung kaibaan ng VA sa mga ibang freelancer. Okay? So, talagang meron tayong ginagawang administrative or back office support. So, uh, a freelancer v, a freelancer writer, mag-write lang sila. Okay? Yun lang ginagawa lang. And then, papasa sa client, whatever. Right, but if you are a writer VA, sometimes you write it and sometimes you post it on your own, Ganyan. or sometimes you even manage yung blog or yung website where it is posted. Okay, so yun ang kaibahan. Uh, again, this is just an example, very basic lang to, to give you an, uh, an idea. Pero pag sinabi na natin writer VA, minsan hindi lang ito yung ginagawa nila. Keep that in mind. So there are other sobrang dami. Um, other VAs are varying skills and degree of expertise uh, um, and you will hear this a lot sa mga freelancing groups or virtual assistant groups is niche okay? um, so there is uh, a whole chapter of lessons about niche dito sa course na ito that you will get to um, later on but um, to give you uh, an idea now, a niche is a specific marketing segment or a specific topic or a specific industry na uh, ginagawa mo. Katulad ng example ko kanina, niche yon, writer VA. So, hindi ka lang basta-basta VA na general, you do writing. Okay? Another, another niche is social media. Okay? So, not just a VA na kung ano yung ginagawa, but your focus and yung expertise mo, yung kagalingan mo, is on social media only. Okay? So, that is what a niche is. Right? So, industry lang ba siya? Topic lang ba siya? There are niches na specific lang sa tool. For example, uh, Facebook Ads VA. So, Facebook Ads is Facebook under social media, pero uh, mas na narrow down pa yung topic from social media. Nakafocus lang siya sa Facebook advertisements. Right? So, sometimes when you start out, and when I started out, hindi ako, wala akong niche kasi galing nga ako sa call center. So, ang alam ko lang email, calendar, tapos inaral-aral ko lang yung iba. So, I started out as a general VA. So, um, there is a lot of good things. Maraming mga, mga positive kapag meron kang niche as a VA. Pero, uh, makakasin. Pag nakakita ka ng mga post na, oh, you, you need a niche, you do need a niche. Pero it doesn't mean na hindi ka pwedeng mag-start. So if you uh, don't have a specific niche, a specific expertise, di ka accountant, or di ka CPA, di ka marunong sa bookkeeping, yung mga ganyan, 
okay lang yun. You can start out as a general VA and then you branch out from there. That's one of the reasons why I keep on saying be flexible, learn on your own. Kasi when you, you're working with the client, may kita mo, ah, hindi ako marunong nito before. Tinry ko, ang galing ko pala or nag-enjoy pala ako. Maybe in the long run, yun ay maging niche mo. Okay? So be open, be flexible. So, ano ba ang difference ng isang um, VA sa freelancer? I gave that example earlier, but a VA is multi-skilled and can change their function according to what the situation needs. Sometimes when you're a VA and you're, ito yung set of work mo, and nakita mo, wait lang, kailangan ni client ng, ng, ng tulong dito. I can do that or I can learn that so I can do it for them. Minsan nag-change yung function mo and that's what a VA is. Yung freelancer naman is nakafocus lang sila sa single category. Okay? Um, and kung natatanong ka, naisip ko, paano yan? Wala akong niche. Hindi ko alam to. Pa, um, paano ako mag-start as a VA? Again, pwede ka mag-start ng general VA. And yung mga skills na, tina, na pinakita ko kayo sa general virtual assistance, kung hindi mo alam yun or wala kang alam doon, wala kang experience doon, meron nung dito later on. Okay? But if you already have a skill now, start with the skills that you already have. Okay? Kasi ito yung pinaka-practical. Ito yung pinaka-practical. Pagkakitaan mo na, yung kaya mo nang gawin. Yun lang naman sinasabi natin. Okay? So, how do you earn as a virtual assistant? Kasi alam mo na how it works. You get a client, you need someone to do this for them, your support, to yung iba-ibang VA, medyo baka may nasa isip ka ng niche or wala pa, you've decided to be a general VA or meron kang naisip na niche, hindi mo alam pero you wanna try on, you wanna learn that, okay? Pero how do you earn as a VA? And this is very important. To be profitable as a virtual assistant, you need to get a client to pay for your services. Okay, yun lang talaga siya. Um, and the thing is, when we talk about profitability, it's not about strategies, expertise, and experience. It's really deeply connected to your ability to find and land clients. Kasi sabi ko nga, merong iba-ibang VA at iba-iba yung mga skills natin. Pero hindi sabihin mas magaling sa isang bagay, mas malaki yung kita mo. Okay, because another skill that you need to work from home, hindi lang as a virtual assistant, you need to have this if you want to start working from home as a freelancer, is the ability to find and land a client. Okay, because clients are everywhere. It's really um, finding the right one for you. Okay, so to be profitable, clients yan. And part of this, actually a huge part of this course is focusing on landing clients. Hindi lang yung basta apply ka lang na apply, but how do you become a client magnet? So, finding clients, to give you an idea now, ano ba yung client? Again, these are the people that will pay for your services. Um, three things that you can find them. Number one, freelance marketplaces, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere. Pinterest, okay? Um, yun yung social media. Freelance marketplaces naman is websites like Upwork, Fiber, Golands, Guru. Um, I think I'll have... A list of websites. There are a lot, siguro more than 50 na legit websites where clients come in, nag-sign up sila sa mga website na to, and then they post their job ad. And as freelancers, as PAs, we look at the job ad and then we send an application. And then yung client in their end, tignan lahat ng application and then they'll decide, okay, sino po dito gusto ko kausapin, interviewin, and a hire, mga ganun. Okay? So social media, yung mga Facebook. Marketing naman is um, finding your own client using your own marketing strategy. Some virtual assistants, they have their own websites. Yung iba, nag ng, ng ng marketing campaign like a real business. They do that as well. So, papakita namin yan later. So, how do you become visible to clients? Kasi, if you start as a VA, clients won't just come to you. You have to be visible to them, right? So, to find clients, you have to to show up. Okay, so you do your own marketing, you create your profile, you create a website. But remember, I'm not saying that uh, you need to have a website now, ha. It's just that this is also something that other VAs do at naging successful din sila. Hindi lahat ng VAs na may website is nagkakahanap ng client agad. Uh, this is just an option. Okay, this is a really good option, pero hindi siya necessary. So, another thing is that ang kaibahan mo sa ibang nagsistart as a virtual assistant is that you already, you're already ahead. Because you took the first step. And the, the things that I talked to you about for the past few minutes is something that some virtual assistants realize after a few weeks, sometimes after a few months. 
you're already ahead. I want you to say that. I'm already ahead. Okay? Again, I'm already ahead. Okay? Post that or, or isulat mo. And you have to believe that you're already ahead. Okay? Because again, mentality to. It's all about mentality here. I'll show you the steps. I'll show you the strategies. Pero to be successful has to come from you. Okay? You have to have that mentality. You're already ahead. You took the first step. And this is what uh, this lesson is all about. So in the next lesson, we will talk to you more about virtual assistants. And again, if you have questions, post mo sa group. Uh, let me know. Kung may mal ma ma malabo or kung may hindi ka naintindihan or may gusto kang idagdag, let me know.